What's going on YouTube? John from JohnTheMarker.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you something really cool that I just learned, how you can actually track uh, button clicks and how you can retarget people based on those button clicks. So I cannot wait to show you this. But before we actually get into that, definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that alert button if you haven't done so, so that you can know when I post a new video. I'm always posting new content pretty much daily, so I'm always doing different things in different um, areas. So you definitely want to know when I post a new video. All right, so what I learned um, is a really cool way to track people based on the buttons that they click. So, for example, if someone clicks a button on my landing page um, and I want to add them to a custom audience in Facebook um, using my pixel, I can do that. So, I was searching through Funnel U, and Funnel U is basically a, um, a service that ClickFunnels offers, and they have additional add-ons if you will that you can pretty much use to spice up your landing pages or your sales pages etc and the code that i didn't even know existed until yesterday um it's called so let me see if i can find it it's called cffb fire event okay it is a really cool thing and they have a video here for you so if you want to actually get fun of you it's closed right now but if you go to the link down below um there shall be a waiting list that you can join and i think on that waiting list, you'll get um, different emails, and I think by the third email, they have an option for you to actually purchase it. So, on, although it's not actually available for you to buy right now, if you join the waiting list, wait a couple of days, you'll get the option to purchase. So, definitely click the link down below if you want to join. Okay, so CF Fire, F, CFFB Fire event. <laughs> um, so, basically, what it allows you to do is essentially uh, make sure that you can track what people are doing based on the buttons that they click. So, let me show you how it works. So, if you go into your ClickFunnels account um, and we edit a page, so I put a um, custom conversion on this particular button. So, I want to know when some people on my pop up, it, when some people click join the challenge, I want people to. I want, I want to know when people do that, okay? So um, I installed this code. So in Funnel, you, you get a code. And what you want to do is on your lander, go to settings, go to tracking code, and you're going to want to include that code inside the footer. So this code is provided by Jamie Smith from CF Pro Tools, but it's in Funnel U, so you can definitely get access to that, all right? So once you have that code, um, what you want to do is go to the button that you are looking to um, track and then you want to go to edit you want to go to the get CSS info down below here and you're going to name it a certain way okay so this, the way you have to name it is the first three things that have to be or the first I guess five things you have to do is you have to add CF dash FB dash fire dash whatever the, the the name is okay so if we go back into the code um, Jamie actually provided some FB standard events so you can see you can add add to cart lead initiate checkout view content and literally you would just come in here just copy this if for example this is an add to cart you would just come in here copy go back to the button go to the CSS info and then just do this okay that's it you would just paste the add to cart name here um, give it a second and that's all you have to do and it's named a specific way you can see here it says the cap the a is capital the T is capital the C is capital so you have to make sure you name it a certain way um, what I did though was I actually added a custom conversion so this is actually a custom conversion in my Facebook um, ads manager where I set up a custom um, event essentially so let me show you that let me just pop up my business.facebook account and i can show you what that looks like so essentially what you want to do is go to your business manager you want to go to you want to go to custom conversions And I'm actually in the wrong account, so let me go to the right one. Okay, so I have um, my different custom conversions here. And you can see here that the click join five day challenge 
hasn't really got any any activity yet because obviously I haven't done anything but that's you would just come in here click create custom conversion um, you give it a name so click blah 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 and then you set up the website traffic so if it's a if it's going to be a lead if it's going to be a view content etc I set mine to lead and then you have to add the URL um, of that of that that lead so the way that I have it, if I can find it you see the rule here it says include lead events where URL equals mini challenge thank you um, so they would have to go to that mini challenge uh, page in order for them to actually uh, become a lead so once you do this um, so once you do this so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out and what what I recommend doing is adding the um, Facebook pixel helper so that you can see like what's going on with your pixel as as you're doing it so I'm just gonna put in my name here and I'm just gonna put in my, my testing email And now you see that I'm in, and then you can see here that the pixel fired. So it says clicked, uh, my pixel clicked join five day challenge has fired because I'm on this page. Um, and I know that, I know they clicked that button, I know they landed here, so that means that they actually opted in, they became a lead, and we're good to go. So this is really, really powerful stuff. I never knew that this was a thing. Um, so I'm really excited that I found this because now I can use this possibly on a lot of different buttons that I have. If I have a sales page, I could do that like a, an add to cart or initiate checkout type of thing. So I can retarget based on that because as people go through this process, as people go through these custom conversions, this is data that we can use later down the line. Um, later down the line to retarget these people. So like if we know they clicked on a button, we know that they actually did that thing, we can run retargeting ads to them and say, hey, you know, you did this, but you didn't do this, right? Um, and this is this is really, really cool. So I'm excited that uh, this is something that we can use. Um, I'm not too sure why this is saying low volume. Um, I think it's because it just didn't update yet, but you get the idea. So uh, definitely check out Funnel U. They have a lot of different codes in here. So a lot of them that I haven't even checked out or seen yet. So like I said, click the link down below. You can join the waiting list. And then I think in that email sequence, like a couple days, you'll get access to uh, be able to use, um, use Funnel U. But yeah, there's a lot of different codes. And this one I'm really excited about. And, Pretty much every code comes with a video tutorial, so you'll be able to follow along. Jamie and he'll, he'll explain it to you. But I hope this made sense. This is really, really powerful stuff. So I wanted to make a quick video on this, see how you guys uh, can use this for your benefit. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.